Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this video, we're going to be going over creating a bottle using a lathe method in Blender 2.8. Ready? Let's go. So the first thing I want to do to model this bottle is I'm going to take an image. I'm going to bring an image in. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is we have this really cool add-on. All right, under Edit Preferences, we have a really cool add-on called import images as planes and if you don't have it checked which most people don't when you just install blender uh, you can turn it on here and this is going to let us bring an image into blender that we can use as a reference to model with so the first thing we do is i'm going to bring in the image so we turn that on i go to file i go to import and now we have all the way at the bottom it says images as planes so when i click that I'm going to find an image and we're going to bring it in. All right, so I'm going to click that. Okay, here's an image. I'm going to take this image and I'm going to hit import images as planes or click on it twice, either or, or hit enter, whatever. And it comes in. So now you see that it came in as an object. Okay, this is, if you look up here, actually an object. Okay, you can hide it, you can lock it, you can do everything. It's an object, it's, it's a plane. And we just don't see it. All right because we don't have texture enabled. So if we just go color material and we change material and shading up here, we hit shading and we go to texture, you can now see it. All right. So then the only thing I want to do is I want to flatten it down. So I'm going to select it and we're going to numerically just go to this little plus up here. And I'm going to say for X, I'm just going to say zero. I'm going to zero that out and now it lays flat. Okay. So now it's going to be pretty easy to model with. I'm not going to worry that it's like not perfectly centered on this thing. That's not concerning me right now. And I don't want to waste time in the video to actually do that. But if you really want to, you could pull this thing over and do that and align it, but I don't need to. All right. So I'm going to close this guy out. I don't need him anymore. And I'm going to hit Z up here. And that puts me in orthographic view. So the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to add a line in here and I'm going to use that to kind of trace a polygon around this edge. So this is one way to do it. There are many ways to model this bottle. This is one way of using the lathe method. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add mesh and I'm going to go ahead and just say for this, I'll say plane and boom, that's huge. So what I'm going to do is I just need one, I just need one point from this whole thing. All right. For this to work really well. I found that I can just use an edge, but that's, that gets a little tricky. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to hit tab. Okay. All these points are selected. I'm going to go to vertex, merge vertices, or hit alt M say at center fine. And now I have this one point polygon, all right? That's all it is. One point polygon. Okay, if I hit the move tool, you can see I am actually moving a one point polygon. There it is, there's the point. So what I can do with this is I can just extrude it and bring the other end down here. Or I can extrude it and kind of trace around the edges. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna extrude it and then I'm gonna subdivide it and then I'm gonna move those points out, all right? Like I said, one way to do it, I'm choosing this way because it's illustrative and it'll show you what I'm doing better. So I'm going to go ahead to extrude. I'm going to hit E to extrude. And I'm just going to pull this guy down to here. And you don't have to worry whether it's straight or not right now. It doesn't matter. All right. So at about there, that's fine. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the edge and subdivide it. To do that, I just go up here to this little edge tool. All right, or hit two on the keyboard to go into edges, select the edge, hit control R for loop, cut and slide. And I'm going to use my mouse button, middle mouse button, scroll wheel, scroll it up and see all these dots appear. Those are subdivisions. All right. Those are my little subdivisions that I'm going to use to move around the shape of this bottle. All right. When you think you have enough, and if you look at the bottom here, it'll tell you I have number of cuts, 18. All right, that should probably be good enough. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to hit one on the keyboard or go back up here to this little 
icon that says vertices. And now I have my vertices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving these vertices around the edge, the outline of this bottle. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here and I'll select one. All right. I'm on the move tool. So that's cool. And I think I'm just going to move these about the bottle. All right. And as long as you're stuck in this orthographic view, it's not going to be moving anywhere, but X and Y. So you don't have to worry about moving it up and down in the Z. It's not going to do that. It'll stay flat. All right. So here, I'll move this here. I'll do a few of these and I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when it's fully done. Just so you don't have to watch me painfully do this whole thing. Okay. So now I have this line traced around the edge of the bottle. And if I hit tab, in here, I'll show you that the line is there. You can see the orange line. And if I turn off this guy really quickly over here, this beer bottle eye, you can see that I have this line. Okay. So now I have the line and the object is centered in the very middle of the, of the grid. So now if I go to the modifier, I'm going to spin it. So watch this. I go to modifier, add modifier, and I go to screw and I get this nice big flat disc that looks like absolutely nothing like the bottle until I go over here to axis and I change that to X. And now I have do, 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 a bottle and I'm not going to worry because like this is, we'll cut this in later. It's not a big deal, but we have the basic shape of our bottle. Now I've turned off smooth shading. You'll see that we have this bottle. All right. And this screw, modifier lets us do some cool stuff like you know you want half a bottle it's fine you want a full bottle that's fine you want more than a full bottle fine you want a bottle that's all messed up fine but i'm gonna leave that at 360 and that's cool and you basically have your basic bottle here all right so now what you can do is you can either choose to apply right or you can still if you hit tab you can still edit this thing and being that this modifier is on. All right. So let's say I go back to Z and let's turn this on so I can see. So I'll, I'll hit this uh, little show whole scene transparent. And if I go in here, I can open up the mouth by simply clicking and dragging these guys out. So I'll just drag this guy out a little bit and I'll drag this guy out. And if I drag them away from the center here, so let's, uh, let's use the left mouse select here and go back to move. Now I'm using this just so I can show you what I'm doing. If not, I'd be using hotkeys. All right. So here we go. And I'll just kind of pull this in a little bit or let it end right there. All right. Let me get this guy. Ah, you. You can see the iterative process here at work. All right. So now if I show you, oops, hit tab, go back in. All right. Now we have the opening of our bottle at top. All right. And it's obviously open way too far or not way not far enough, but you know, you get the hang of it. So you can go ahead and, and, um, operate on this thing all you want and, uh, get it as exact as you want. And then you can simply just go, and rotate this whole thing up. So if I were to go on that object, okay, on my original plane, which I'm gonna, I can rename to bottle now, cause it's a bottle and I will rotate it. Uh, negative 90 on the Y. Now it stands straight up and I can pull it up. So be it. I can fix all these axes later, but there's your basic bottle shape out of spinning something with this. Turn on smooth. It looks more like a bottle and there you go. So then you can shade it and do whatever you want to it, but that's your basic bottle. Now you can go ahead. I would go and add a subdivision surface to it and also add a solidify surface so that your bottle gets thicker on the inside and this, uh, solidify surface here 
you can change your thickness a little bit all right, and really get kind of a thickness on the inside. So let's see here. All right. You can turn on uh, view two thickness. So your bottle is pretty thick now, you can see. And you can go up here and change this again later. But there's your basic bottle shape. All right, so if you wanted to, again, just for fun, we can go in and, and change some of this stuff still. So if I hit edit, you're still only working on this one curve. There's your curve. That's what you're working on. If you pull any of these out, you'll see what happens here. So you want the mouth to be wider? Boom, mouth is wider. So you, you still maintain control of this whole thing. All right? You want this to be better? All right, you want that to be in a little more? You want these guys, uh, let's say you, you've had enough of these and these guys are kind of messing you up, delete vertices. All right, delete vertices. You can delete this vertice here. I just think there's one still out here. Delete that vertice. Okay, and now you're just, you've cleaned up your bottle. All right. Okay, so the most important thing that we did was that we were able to bring in an, a picture. Okay, we brought in an image. We were able to trace a polyline around that image just by collapsing a plane into one point, extruding that point, loop, cut, and slide to get a number of divisions, and then just moving those points around the edge here. And once we got that where we wanted it, okay, we tabbed out to get the object back, and we just lathed it using the screw modifier, and then just cleaned it up a little bit. Okay, so without making this video any longer than it needs to be, that's how you would go in and lathe inside of Blender 2.8. And this works in Blender 2.7 too, it's, it's fine. It's not, I mean, I'm not saying you have to have 2.8 for this, you don't. But 2.8's on the horizon, so I'm just using that in the video. All right, so hopefully uh, you got something out of this video. If you did, hit like, subscribe, share it, hit that little bell notification, because I'm making more of these, and you want to see them when they come out. Comment section's open, be nice. I will see you in the next video. Thanks.